Mario João Carlos do Rosário de Brito Miranda, the 2nd of May 1926 to the 11th of December 2011, popularly known as Mario Miranda or Mario de Miranda, was an Indian cartoonist and painter based in Lutulam in the Indian state of Goa. Miranda had been a regular with the Times of India and other newspapers in Mumbai, including the Economic Times, though he got his popularity with his works published in the Illustrated Weekly of India. He was awarded Padma Vibhushan in 2012. Early life Miranda was born in Daman, then in Portuguese India, to Catholic parents. At an early age when his mother saw him drawing on his home's walls, she brought him a blank book, which he calls his diary. He even started getting into trouble at school, for sketching Catholic priests. Mario Miranda's early cartoons presented vignettes of Goan village life, a theme he is best known for even today. Education and early cartooning He studied at St. Joseph's Boys High School, Bangalore and then did a BA in History at St. Xavier's College, Mumbai, while focusing on the Indian Administrative Service Thereafter he started studying architecture at the behest of his parents, though he soon lost interest. Topic career Miranda started his career in an advertising studio, where he worked for four years, before taking up cartooning full-time. He got his first break as a cartoonist with the Illustrated Weekly of India which published a few of his works. His drawings and cartoons also brought him an offer to work at the current magazine. A year later, the Times of India offered him a slot, even though they had rejected him at first. Thereafter, his creations, such as Miss Nimbapani and Miss Fonseca, appeared on a regular basis in Femina, Economic Times, and the Illustrated Weekly of India. <laughs> Return to Mumbai After five years in England, Miranda returned to Mumbai and was offered back his old job with the Times of India, where he worked with noted cartoonist, R.K. Laxman. Thereafter, Miranda met artist Habiba Haidari. They got married and had two sons, Raoul and Rashad. Recognition and fame Miranda's big break came in 1974, when, at the invitation of the United States Information Services, he traveled to America, which enabled him to promote his art and interact with other cartoonists in the United States and also got a chance to work with Charles M. Schultz, the creator of Peanuts, and met Herblock, the editorial cartoonist of the Washington Post. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1988, the Padma Bhushan in 2002, and All India Cartoonists' Association, Bangalore, honored him with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Award. The King of Spain, Juan Carlos, conferred on Mario the highest civilian honor of Cross of the Order of Isabel the Catholic, which was presented to him on the 11th of November 2009 at his family home in Lutalim by Don Miguel Nieto Sandoval and on the 29th of December 2009 Portugal, under the President of the Republic Anibal Antonio Cavaco Silva, made him Commander of the Order of Prince Henry, a Portuguese national order of knighthood. Mario Miranda was posthumously awarded the Padma Vibhushan, the second highest civilian award in the Republic of India, by the President on 4 April 2012. He has held solo exhibitions in over 22 countries, including the United States, Japan, Brazil, Australia, Singapore, France, Yugoslavia, and Portugal. Miranda's cartoons grace the walls of one of South Mumbai's most famous hotspots, Cafe Mondigar, in Calaba. Mario Miranda's caricatures are also seen in the municipal market of Panjim, Goa. Miranda is also featured in the Mile Sir Mara Tumara video, which included a host of India's most notable personalities in arts, films, literature, music, and sports. <laughs> Mural in Café Mondigar In 1990s, Rushi Yazdegardi then owner, asked Mario Miranda to draw murals cartoons on two opposite walls of Café Mondegar. Both walls have different themes. Whilst one wall is dedicated to the life in Mumbai, the other wall is dedicated to atmosphere in the café. Murals 
Topic: <laughs> Beyond cartooning. Besides cartooning, Miranda's murals are present on various buildings in Goa and other parts of India. Late in life he took to paintings which received wide response. Over the years, he published several books, including Laugh It Off, Goa with Love, and Germany in Wintertime. Besides his own books, he illustrated books by Dom Morais, A Journey to Goa, Manohar Malgonkar, Inside Goa, and Mario Cabral e Saws, Legends of Goa. He also illustrated many children's books, including Dull Dull, The Magic Clay Horse 1968, The Adventures of Pilla the Pup 1969, and Lumbdoom, The Long-Tailed Langor 1968, all written by Uma Anand and published by India Book House, Mumbai, under its Echo imprint. He loved to travel and listening to music and it was his ambition to experiment further with water colors and to write memories of his early years in Goa, on retirement. He was not able to fulfill these two latter ambitions. Topic later years and death after retirement, Miranda lived in his ancestral home, at Lutalam, a village in Salseat, Goa, with his wife, younger son and their pets. This house features in the 1985 Shyam Benegal film, Tricol. Even after he retired, Miranda's work was seen regularly in Mumbai publications, and he was invited to travel to countries such as Mauritius and Spain, and draw their local cultures. On the 11th of December 2011, Mario Miranda died of natural causes at his home in Lutalam. His funeral was held on the 12th of December 11 at Lutalam Saviour of the World Church, where the family choir of Miguel Cotta rendered for the first time Andrew Lloyd Webber's version of Pai Jesu. Mario's body was then taken to the Hindu crematorium in Pajifond, Margao, where he was cremated, thus fulfilling his wish, according to his wife. Indian cartoonist Graffy and fine artist, Vijay N. Seth Vins paid tribute to Miranda, whom he considered as a mentor, with pen and ink that were at his command to churn out lines that every nib would be jealous of, he brushed aside the old school of cartooning using the brush, and set a new norm to use the nib pen and to master it for this branch of art. Mario created characters that gave his daily audience their quota of a smile without malice. His trips around the globe produced subtle close observations of the local musings, a fitting example of how far can one stretch the parameters of this branch of neglected art. In 2013, a road junction in Mumbai was named after Miranda. In May 2016, Google honored him with a doodle on his 90th birth anniversary. The doodle showcased a typical Mumbai neighborhood scene during the rains. Topic. Exhibition on the works of Mario Miranda An exhibition named A Pocketful of Chuckles on the Works of Mario de Miranda is also being held by Galleria Gitanjali, Panjim from 30 April 2016. This is the largest exhibition on the original paintings of Mario de Miranda. The Life of Mario, 1949 was also brought out by Gerard da Cunha, a 288-page compilation of caricatures by the 23-year-old Mario Miranda in 1949. This is the third in a series that includes the years 1950 and 1951. Mario Miranda's biggest exhibition in state gets underway in Panaji. Retrieved 2 May 2016. Topic. See also Café Mondiger